Beans, we made you a friend. Hi everybody, on today's episode of Unglued Modeler, we are gonna do some 3D printing. So we got some wood filament for our Creality Ender 3, and we wanted to find a pretty cool project. So we went on Thingiverse and we found this guy. So it's a little flying sea turtle. Um, we, it comes in two options. So you could print it one piece with the shell or two pieces with the shell separately. So as you can see, if you wanted to print a different color, but uh, you can see it is like wood colored from the filament and that actually printed out pretty well. Um, the turtles print actually all in one piece. You can see all the hinges, it's pretty cool. And all you have to do is when you take it off the the plate, you just have to kind of free up the hinges very carefully. Uh, you can see it's still pretty rough, so we have to do some sanding and priming for it. Right, you got that? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Hello, like, little guy. A lot of flashing. <laughs> yeah. But it seems the wood filament is, it prints a lot rougher than normal PLA. So the green is for normal PLA, and you can see there's no flashing that we have to clean up. But when you look at the the filament, the turtle, or the, wood. or the wood filament. There's quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but that's, I mean, that's fine because it sands. It actually sands pretty decent, like similar to wood. Yeah. We got. Um, oh, and then there's also a little camshaft, and this all printed up in one piece too. That's pretty freaking cool. And you just have to kind of gently free up the hinges here. Um, we did have some issues with the print. Uh, this one, I think, we didn't have enough infill. So the handle wouldn't stay. Yeah, that's the crank handle. We just stuck a little screw in there. So I probably could have printed it at 100% uh, infill, which basically means it's solid PLA, and the handle might have freed up, but it kept breaking on me, so I just put a screw there. Yeah. But that's really the only problem part. Yep, and then uh, this is the base, and actually that's the designer. It was oh, yeah. Amochan. Amochan. So, yeah, we'll put the link to the Thingiverse file down below so you guys if you want to print it out you can do that as well yeah. but yeah we're gonna get to you know sanding and priming and then we're gonna stain it a little and hopefully he'll come out a little yeah, we're nice. gonna give him a little bit of a wood stain and a light clear coat but um yeah we got some uh some sanding to do so we're gonna get to that and and uh we'll see we'll how be it back goes. after it's done We got everything all sanded up and ready to go. We're pretty much on to the, the stage of uh, staining. staining and then clear coating. But before we get into the stain and the clear coat, we just want to kind of do a little dry fit, make sure everything fits together like it should. So I think we're uh, gonna be okay to just start assembling. If we need any really small adjustments down the, down the road here, it won't be anything major. But this was the main thing I was worried about that little was the, hinge the main the turtle's main little hinge arms so but we're ready to start staining i'm going to get a piece of cardboard down and then we'll just basically we're just going to dip it in the stain i've done a couple other little wood projects we're going to dip it in the stain and dab it off and it gives it a nice we're using english chestnut english um, chestnut gives it a nice kind of brownish deep tone um but yeah let's get some cardboard down set it up Set it up and we'll show you a couple of the process that we use for the stain. And once we get it all stained, I'll show you a couple pieces and then uh, I'm not going to do it all for you, but uh, we'll cut back when it's all done. But okay. let's get some cardboard set up. Cool. So since these parts are super small, I'm just going to dip them in there. And then rub them off? And then rub it off, yeah. Okay. So it looks dark when it comes out. You just want to kind of dab it. Oh, oh yeah, that. some of the stains. Oh wow! <laughs> all right, everybody. So we got everything all stained up. Let's zoom in on a couple of these. Or not not zoom because the GoPro doesn't zoom. 
Um, oh, Mr. Toy Doll. But you can see how they took the stain. Looks really cool. Yeah. Um, everything looks great. Got a little fuzzies here. We'll pick those off, actually. But the reason we're hanging these up is because we're going to go spray some... Uh... Clear coat. All right. We are back. We got everything all stained and clear coated. Uh, you saw our little contraption where we had everything hanging. Um, but you can see quite the difference. I got just uh, another turtle I printed. This is a bare wood the turtle. The one with the shell, yep. Yeah, so he has the shell. Just to show you how drastic of a difference this is, when you do add stain, I think it looks amazing. Let's get building. So let's see if we can remember how to do this, Mary. What was the first step? <laughs> so, oh yeah, the first step, he took the turtle. He put this little guy on snapped there. Snapped the arm in. Oh no. Yeah. Pushing too hard. Yeah, this it's so flimsy. You saw us trying to force the thing on. It broke. And it just broke. It just required too much force. So it broke in three places. So anyway, we went and printed off another one. These little tabs right here. Right at the top. It, it doesn't You can well. see it kind of broke. Hopefully that fits okay. We don't break anything. Oh goodness. <laughs> Come on. Don't break. He broke. What? No. That was a snap, not a break. No, it broke. It's this bracket. He's fine. Just glue them together. All right. We are not the best modelers in the world. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. <laughs> It's just the, the print settings for a couple of these pieces. So we broke. Need to be 100%. Actually, let me get my little pointer, my pointer file. Oh, okay. Um, we broke that. So right here. As we were putting it the It snapped because I, I had to put a lot of pressure on this turtle, the main turtle arm. Right here snapped. But we got it all glued back together and a little clamp holding it. So it's been a little bit. Let's undo it here. What just happened? Oh, that's the clip from the inside. Oh, shit. I see. Something was not right. Okay, that clip on the little drive shaft broke. This, the center rod down at the bottom, the loop broke. The connector. It, it's impossible to show you, but another piece broke, but we just, uh, we C8 it again, and, um, we seem to be back in business for now until we break the next thing, but it's it's still fine. <laughs> That's the final clip. Don't break. All right. <laughs> Such goofy. Okay. Hmm. He's complete. So he definitely looks cool. <laughs> I'm afraid to move him. I know, right? I'm afraid to try it. <laughs> we'll break it. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at his butt. Can I please? I know. I'm just front? something's going on here. Something's funky. Yeah, he's made out of wood filament. <laughs> I think he's actually doing okay. Actually, he's doing pretty good because the arm kind of moves. I, I, I the arm moves itself. Up, oh, something just happened. Oh, we got another breakage. <laughs> oh God. It's just not. So this guy was a disaster. It wasn't a disaster. Just learning process. We tried, oh. little guy. We tried. Oh well. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. <clears throat> so we've been having trouble with the um, turtle. The wooden. Some of the wooden parts that we've been printing off. Although it looks amazing, um, looks super cool. One of the, couple of the wood pieces keep breaking on us. I just don't think they have the accuracy or the strength of a standard PLA part. Um, so anyway, 
We're, we printed off some straight up PLA parts that have been breaking on us. Um, this main block, I don't know if, let's see if I can show you on the camera how much slop is in this main carrier. So yeah. the gears keep jumping out of the track. Um, you had to do a lot of filing. To yeah, the, area, the so. wood, you got to kind of sand it down to where it looks good and fits good. And I think what happens when you sand the wood down is these tolerances get too loose. And I think you lose, I think that's part of our problem. So we printed off a new base and a new main carrier. And it's a lot tighter. There's a little teeny tiny slop, but not nearly as much. So we're yeah, hoping a little smoother. that we're gonna make a Franken turtle here. <laughs> the wood is cool, but it's just not working together. So we're gonna put some gray yeah. parts on and make a Franken turtle. Yeah, we'll see if we can get them going. Cam number two broke up here. Yeah, right? so we printed off a new cam. One of the arms broke. That's why he has a flappy arm here. Um, it, it just keeps jumping out of gear right here. So, I don't know. Let's right. see if we can Put them together. salvage him. Oh, oh, and we also read the directions. <laughs> it's a good idea, right? Read the directions. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it actually says use some oil, little dabs of oil on the moving parts, which we did not do before. So we're gonna try putting a little bit of oil in these parts, relieve some of the strain. Hopefully that'll help a little. Plastic to plastic and yeah, hopefully we can get it working a little better and working at all. But yeah, let's uh, start disassembling. So basically we just gotta go in reverse order here. Cam one is good. Cam two is bad, but to get the cam two out, we need to take this plate off and this part is gonna break. Oh, he's broken anyway. Yeah, yeah, so he is broken anyway. This bracket, mm -hmm. that's why we got a new one. He's junk, throw him in the junk area. Bye. So this is all our new good stuff, well, good stuff. <laughs> How about better stuff? All right, it's basically starting over. All right, so Mary's gonna give it a go. I was fumbling around and yeah, I don't know. Well. If it breaks again, this turtle is not meant to fly. I'm done. What a pain in my PLA. <laughs> Ugh. Do we need to get the hammer out? How's it going? Yay! That sounded good. See? Oh, sorry. <laughs> so excited. All right. So. Now we gotta switch the base out. Really? Cool. Right, See that? All right, so we got a new crank. Frank and crank. Frank and crank. <laughs> All right. Holy shnikes. <laughs> okay, so now... Mary's better at putting this together. I got kicked off the turtle project. <laughs> I have. I just used too much brute force. Just manhandling <laughs> it. Mary's better at the more de delicate models. All right, so I'm going to... So now you got to... Careful, careful. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying. I think you, sure. if you see it straining, you raise that bracket up because this is where we broke it before. Raise hold it up. Hold it. And I think we should put some oil in there. It wouldn't hurt put oil here too because that's the part that broke. Oh, okay. okay. Anything that spins, moves, rotates, pivots, oil it. Oil it. Yeah, to put drop oil everywhere. I don't there want this go. breaking again. I want to see it work. <laughs> You're going to fly. Might fly into the garbage. <laughs> yeah, if he breaks on me, you're done for. If he breaks, yeah, you're definitely flying somewhere. <laughs> out the window. <laughs> out the window. I don't think he's gonna break. He doesn't feel like he's gonna break. So I hear some creaking like and he's cracking. Gonna break. <laughs> Hold on, let me look at him. <laughs> oh my god. What's he looking like? He's looking like, like a potato. Uh, it's not that he's too tall or too big. Okay. <laughs> uh, the middle arm fell out. Yeah. At least it didn't break. No, he just popped out. Yeah. Okay. There. One line mm, the timing yeah. marks up. Perfect. Hold on that. Okay. Slide our clip on to the hopefully, hopefully it works. <laughs> he kind of works. There he goes. <laughs> Franken turtle, Franken. par for the course here. <sighs> so, this uh, is another. At least he's on. <laughs> at least he's on. This is another problem we were having. 
the main gear that makes them travel back and forth, this groove kept popping out. Oh, this of right the there. Pin. It's yeah. really hard to show you, but anyway, let's uh slowly start turning. Just watch that closely. Oh, here. Let me see. So, let's see if we can get him Oh, you might want to actually put some oil in that main groove. Oh. Yeah. This whole guy's all oiled it's up. Just, it, I want it to Jeez. run smooth and the directions said oil it. We're following the directions. It's all oiled up. Here, put this on the paper towel. So you don't oh. Yeah, I think this is going to help him. Oh, here. Actually, let me oil the gear a little. Yeah, you can throw in a little gear. All right, cool. This guy is covered in... In oil. Kind of ironic. We're supposed to, this the uh, supposed to be saving the turtles, but we're covering it in oil. <laughs> <laughs> exact opposite of saving How's turtles. How's that looking? I hear creaking. Okay. <laughs> it's working. Is it kind of working? No, it's working. Oh, okay. It's working way better than the. Let me do it the other way. The other way than the other model. Yeah, Why because the main carriage is tighter. I can see the gear. Ew, I hear things going. Yeah. He feels a lot, okay, he feels We're getting there. It's just some of these weird little adjustments. All right. Fly, turtle, fly. So it does work. Yes, and so far nothing's uh, broken. It didn't break. Uh, it didn't break, it just, break. It just popped out. <laughs> If you ever want a PLA model, don't ask us. <laughs> we'll just destroy it. There. All right. One more revolution <laughs> and we'll call it a success. A success? A success. He's flying. All right. He's tight, but he's working. I, yeah, he's there. I mean, I love the fact that he's. we kept the wood guy. Yeah, the, so the wood worried. turtle looks cool. He's, he's got some Franken parts on him. We got him working. But yeah, the important thing is we did get him working. Just a interesting little print project. Very intricate. A lot more difficult than we thought. The guy who designed it did a phenomenal job. And I'm sure people with better 3D printers that are more accurate than an Ender 3 could probably have more success with this thing. Yeah. We did our best. But for what, you know, for what we had and... and... The lack of maintenance on the, our printer. Yeah. I think we, it did pretty good. And, well, yeah. And we wanted to try the wood. You know, that was another yeah. thing. We were trying wood, and, and that worked out okay. Oh, success, though. You want to yeah. wrap, wrap it up? So good job, Mary, putting them all together and getting them working. I'm glad we got them working. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think we're I think we're done with this, guys. Just <sighs> a little 3D print project. We'll see some fun things on Thingiverse, and, you know, we'll always try printing them off. Yeah. Um, there's always cool stuff on Thingiverse, so we try not to do RC every video, uh, as cool as RC is, but we do we do a lot of other little yeah. projects like this. So uh, this was a fun one, a uh, challenging one, yeah. but yeah, hope you enjoyed the uh, 3D uh, flying sea turtle automata. And uh, see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more 3D print projects or anything other um, 3D print related. Yeah, let us know. All right, see you next time. Bye.